Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Justice Thomas' wife crushes Andy Gunn Parkland students with brutal post. In a Facebook post that went viral and ticked a lot of liberals off, Jenny Thomas, the wife of Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas and a conservative activist, criticized the students who walked out of school to protest for gun control laws. In the post that she shared Monday, according to The Hill, Thomas said the students needed to study history to learn what happened to those who gave up their guns unwillingly to the government. The post included a picture of a pile of shoes from Jewish victims of the Holocaust and was originally written by Facebook user Monica Bailey. To all the kids that walked out of school to protest guns. These are the shoes of Jews that gave up their firearms to Hitler, Thomas wrote. They were led into gas chambers, murdered and buried in mass graves. Pick up a history book and you'll realize what happens when you give up freedoms and why we have them. From Mike McKay's Facebook page. He passed away last week and all my heroes at will speak so fondly of his 30 years of work at will, Washington radio station, Thomas wrote. This post from his page is amazing. That wasn't the only controversial post on Parkland from Thomas, either. In one post which implied the March for Our Lives and the walkouts were mostly astroturfed, she also criticized Parkland activist David Hogg. So, just wondering, who got the permits and paid for buses for this youth march? She wrote in the post two weeks ago. Needless to say, this was triggering for some of the liberals who saw the post. Sensible gun laws do not equate to losing the Second Amendment or any freedoms as you claim, Facebook user Jane Murray wrote. You are just a shameless excuse for a shrew and need to give these kids an apology. Living through the tragedy they have, they have every right to ask for their lives to matter more than your assault weapons of war. They say husbands and wives grow to resemble one another, user Jack Malda wrote. Well, you are both a special kind of stupid. Of course, very few of the liberal comments actually seemed to address the issue at hand, just that she should be ashamed of herself, and or that she was stupid and a shrew, which is clearly constructive debate, as well. It's a fact that one of the features of the Second Amendment is it's a hedge against tyranny. This is as true as it's ever been, and Parkland doesn't change that. Reasonable debate has been rejected by the left on this situation, it's only shaming those that don't follow their lead. Jenny Thomas isn't prepared to do that, apparently. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.